Now to the H1N1 flu. Our own Harry Smith most likely has it. And as you're about to hear, the president tells 60 Minutes Steve Croft about how he plans to protect his family this season. So joining us now is our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Dr. Ashton, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. The first round of H1N1 vaccine could be available by early October. But as the number of cases increases, it's not clear whether that will be soon enough. In an exclusive interview with 60 Minutes, President Obama said his daughters will receive the H1N1 vaccine. I will make sure that Malia and Sasha uh, get their shot because one of the things that we're concerned about with H1N1 is that younger people are potentially more vulnerable than seniors, unlike seasonal flu shots. Mm -hmm. On Sunday, government officials say the vaccine could be available to high-risk patients sooner than they originally expected. We're on track to have a, an ample supply rolling by the middle of October, but we may have some early vaccine as early as the first full week in October. Experts say the long-term impact of the vaccine can't be overlooked. One thing to remember is that this virus is going to continue to circulate and probably have multiple peaks over two years or so. So if we can get vaccine sometime in the fall or even early winter, we're probably going to prevent the bulk of disease, even if we kind of miss that first peak. College campuses continue to suffer some of the worst outbreaks. During the first week of September, there were nearly 5,000 new cases of H1N1 reported on campuses across the country. And over the weekend, New York's Cornell University reported its first fatality as a result of H1N1 complications, a 20-year-old economics major, Jeff. And a lot of those who died have underlying medical conditions right. as well, we That's should right. mention.